There is a sadistically satisfying feeling when stuffing someone's head in a toilet, rendering them unconscious, or simply holding them under long enough to end in their life. Of course, I am just talking about doing this in a video game and not in real life, but it is still satisfying nonetheless. Hitman 2 is chock full of these satisfying moments as the game gives you a dark, playful sandbox to wreak havoc on the scum that need to be wiped off the face of the earth. Hitman veterans know exactly what I'm talking about. Those new to the series are in for a treat, and I only mean a treat if you enjoy killing and disposing of bad guys in all sorts of sinister, funny, and clever ways. Once again, Hitman 2 revolves around the contract killing of the stiff-walking, psychopathic, short-breathed Agent 47 and his clever killing ways. Agent 47 is the world's best assassin and cosplayer. With these attributes, Agent 47 can use his environment and the identities of other people to take out his targets in gruesome, ingenious, and hilarious ways. While you can take out any of your targets with a gun and a straight-on approach, you risk being detected or leaving evidence. A good assassin leaves no trace. In fact, it's best to make every kill look like an accident, and none's the wiser of your involvement. Hitman 2's game world gives you the means to take out your targets in dozens, if not hundreds, of different ways. While there are main story cinematic assassinations that follow a semi-linear path, your plan and end execution of your contracts is up to you. Hitman 2 launches with six sandbox levels and one sniper mission level. And if you purchased Hitman 1, those levels can be downloaded into Hitman 2 with all of Hitman 2's upgraded material, which isn't much. But it is a nice bonus. The sandbox levels are the bread and butter of Hitman. You begin each level with some intel, your contract target list, and completion details. Other than that, everything else is left up to you. Each level is vastly different than the next and gives you a ton of killing options to complete. 100% completing any given level will take tens of hours as each level comes with assassination, discovery, feat, and other challenges. Some of these challenges will simply be take out target A with this device or in a certain way, while others might make things a little bit more interesting. Undoubtedly, those with OCD will spend a lot of time trying to complete this game in its entirety. The sandbox levels are gorgeous locations, especially on the Xbox One X, and aside from one, are huge. Most are filled with hundreds of NPCs and interesting finds. Mumbai, for instance, is filled with narrow, pedestrian-filled corridors that are maze-like and can make objectives and targets hard to find, yet are useful for escaping police and security personnel. To give Agent 47 a help in hand, he has Instinct Mode, which essentially is X-ray vision, where he can see interactive objects and NPCs, giving him the advantage in the field. Instinct Mode can be turned off, but without it, Hitman 2's difficulty would definitely spike. Miami Speedway level is a highlight with its lively vibe, interesting sections, and high-speed kills. Almost all of the levels are huge open-world areas with distinct zones with different levels of security and obstructions. All of the levels aren't a play one and done. They are meant to be played over and over with the possibility of no two playthroughs being the same if you make different choices. Let's take our toilet bowl victim for instance. Perhaps we shoot her execution style, or wait in the shadows and stab her with a pair of scissors, or just sit in hiding and take her out from a distance. Like I said, the choice is entirely up to you. When you first begin each level, you are limited to which gear you can choose and start in areas and disguises. As you complete these levels, you will unlock more options and gear to make things a bit easier and interesting. During a level's planning phase, you will be able to select any unlocked items. Gameplay is a satisfying, visceral experience. The accident assassinations are great and are devilishly thought out, and you'll cringe and laugh as targets get blown off buildings by giant fans or get chopped up by their own cocaine machine. It's all great fun. Agent 47's movement and gunplay still feel a little stiff, but this is offset with each weapon's distinct weight and recoil. Bullet impact feels deadly and weighty, thanks to some great sound and character response with NPCs reacting accordingly. Headshots simply have a brutal feel to them. The sniper mission has Agent 47 perched on a ledge with another contract to fulfill. You can only snipe in this mission, but the sniping is top-notch, and hopefully this is a game mode that will be added to in the future. This level is full of the same dense population of NPCs, interactive ways to kill targets, and multiple challenges to complete. This mode can be completed alone or with a friend. The sniper mission is like Where's Waldo, but instead, when you find Waldo, you get to kill him. Good stuff. Hitman 2 gets a buy now and a 9 out of 10. It is a near perfect assassin game with a few minor shortcomings. Agent 47, while he has become a little less stiff and more nimble over the years, still feels slightly robotic in movement and can't traverse some of the environmental obstacles that you would think he would be able to. And even though Hitman 2 isn't vastly different from Hitman 1, it is a superior assassination game that players will spend hours in. 
Hitman 2 looks and sounds great, and if you play on the Xbox One X with a super duper 4K HDR TV, you have the option to choose to favor frame rate or quality. Choosing quality, however, will leave the game suffering from slight frame rate dips. Optional modes like contracts, in which players can create their own assassination targets and upload them live, as well as elusive targets, which give players additional scum to kill, only will add to the longevity of an already deep, challenging, and fun-filled assassination game. So remember, if you liked the review, maybe subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Till next time, keep on gaming.